What's up, Dragon Ball Radar? Today we're going to go over the attack system in my Dragon Ball World Tournament card game. First of all, to be able to attack, your attack must be higher than the other character you're planning on attacking. Also, it's recommended that your speed should be higher than the character you're attacking, thus giving them less chances to dodge. Okay, for option one, we're going to use Goku and Vegeta. As you can see, Goku has an attack of 400 and speed of 8. Vegeta has an attack of 350 and speed of 7. As you can tell, Goku has the upper hand in both ways in attack and speed. So let's say Goku were to attack Vegeta. So Goku would automatically take an HP off of Vegeta in this scenario because his speed and attack are both higher than Vegeta's. Okay, in option 2, we're going to have Goku versus Vegeta fighting. So the same thing as last time. Goku's going to attack Vegeta, but Vegeta's going to play a speed card which decreases Goku's speed by 2. This would now have Vegeta's speed at 7 and Goku's speed at 6, thus meaning Vegeta would have one chance to dodge because his speed is higher. Okay, in option 3, we're going to have the same thing. Goku is attacking Vegeta, except this time, Vegeta plays an attack card. This would put Vegeta's attack at 450, 50 points higher than Goku's. This would mean that Goku could not attack Vegeta anymore because his attack is lower than Vegeta's. Okay, for option 4, it's going to be the same thing. Goku attacks Vegeta, except this time Vegeta plays a special card. So this would mean that Goku cannot attack for two full revolutions of every player's turn, thus meaning Goku's attack would be negated. Option 5, same thing's going to happen. Goku's going to attack Vegeta, except this time Vegeta's going to activate his ability. Vegeta's ability is Gallic Gun. This increases his attack by 200 and speed by 6. This would then mean Vegeta's attack is 550 and speed is 13. And also meaning that Goku could not attack Vegeta anymore because his attack is higher. Okay, for option 6, we're going to have the same thing, Goku attacking Vegeta, except Vegeta is going to play an attack card, which puts Vegeta's attack up to 500. But Goku's going to play an attack card as well. Since Vegeta's speed is still lower and their attacks are even, this means Vegeta would get one chance to dodge. And the last option, same thing as last time, Goku is going to attack Vegeta. Except this time, Vegeta is going to play an attack card and a speed card. That would put Vegeta's attack at 500 and speed at 12. But Goku decides to play an attack card as well. Now Goku and Vegeta's attack are both at 500, but Vegeta still has higher speed. That would mean Vegeta gets two chances to dodge instead of one. And last but not least, there are many combinations you can do with this. I'll show you an advanced version. Okay, Goku's going to attack Vegeta. Vegeta plays an attack card, which puts his attack up to 650. Then Goku plays an attack card, which puts him up to 900. Then Vegeta plays an attack card that decreases Goku's attack by 300, putting him at 600. Then Goku uses his ability, which is KO Cam. It increases his attack by 150 and increases his speed by 5. This puts Goku at 750 and a speed of 13. Now Vegeta uses his ability which raises his attack by 200 and speed by 6. So now Vegeta's attack is 850 and speed is 13. And now for Goku's last stitch effort he uses the Spirit Bomb which adds up all the attack cards that were been played which adds up to 1100 plus Goku's original attack which is 400 plus the ability he activated putting him up at 550. So now Goku's attack is 1650 but now Vegeta decides to be a pain in the butt so he plays instant transmission this allows Vegeta to automatically dodge the, the incoming attack thus rendering all the cards that have been played useless and no one lost an HP in the battle so now you understand the attacking and dodging system in the card game next time I'll be showing a video that covers transformation characters on how to transform to Super Saiyan or whatever your, whatever the character's transformation is so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. So if you want to see more, click the like button below, comment below, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Follow our Instagram, dragon underscore radar underscore corp. Or share the video with your friends. Also, we do videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Wednesday and Friday being a Dragon Ball Online Let's Play episode. Monday being a video like this or whatever we come up with. And also remember, at 25 subscribers, we're going to give away... Kid Boo um, Uncut VHS 5 tapes sealed. So be on the lookout for that. And that's pretty much everything. So um, like, comment, and subscribe. 
follow our Instagram. Um, have a good one, guys. Peace.